In today's video, gents, we're talking about things that Antonio can't live without. Nope, nope, nope. That's not the direction I'm taking this video. But I have to admit the title of these videos cracks me up because really, what does a man need to survive? Breathable air, half a gallon of water a day, 2,000 calories, shelter, maybe a weapon. That's about it, right? For today's video, gents, we're going to go beyond basic survival. I'm going to talk about the things that I enjoyed thoroughly over the last year that I think you should consider picking up this holiday season. Let's talk about the man bag. This one here, the Satchel 11 made by Nutsack. I've had them in the past as a sponsor. This one I had sent to me years ago and I leveraged the heck out of this thing. Now I was happy with that Satchel 11 for years until they sent me this Tac Sack 13. This one right here, amazing. I love the Molly lining so you can attach a number of things inside. It's just a little bit bigger so it works perfectly for my laptop. What I also like about this, they've also got custom Kydex holsters that they can build so if you conceal carry and I just love the design. It's still right there with the Satchel 11. It looks good. That being said, if you're into looks, you need to check out their Jones 13. I took this one on a recent trip with me and I got two compliments on the airplane. Then when I got off the airplane, the guy I was staying with, Aaron, he just absolutely loved it. He looked at this. He's like, wow, oh, that's a nice bag. This thing is beautiful. To me, it's all about the leather. And I do believe a man spending a bit more to get the right bag that he absolutely loves the look of and he uses is always a good investment. Now, you notice I'm wearing a turtleneck. Let me go ahead and give you a better view of this. This is from John Henrik. And I have to say, I absolutely love their sweaters. Not only do they have a great selection, they're classics, but they feel amazing. This one right here is in cashmere. If you've never owned a cashmere sweater, you really want to treat yourself to one this holiday season. There's some great deals. I'll link to them down in the description. They're not the sponsor of this video. I just absolutely love sweaters because you get to dress yourself up a bit, but yet it's not over the top. Still, it's better than a hoodie, in my opinion, when it comes to just looking good. And for me, I love the turtleneck, one of my signature looks, but not for everybody. Go look at all the different styles. My point here is find yourself a great sweater sweater and I think John Hendrick makes some pretty good ones. Next up on the list and no surprise to a lot of you guys, fragrance. So over the last year and a half, I've probably picked up about 300 fragrances and every single morning what I do is I wear something new, I'm testing it, I'm doing research, I spend about 30 minutes to an hour learning about the notes, trying to get into this more. But one thing that's amazed me about fragrances and why I've gone into this so deep is how it can affect your productivity, how it can affect the way that you focus, how it can affect how you feel about yourself and others feel about you. Knowing this, I'm excited to announce, hey, I've already got the test samples of my new fragrance line coming out. If you haven't heard of this, check it out, Mission Fragrances honor, courage, commitment. This is going to be the first fragrance line that honestly doesn't care that much about scent. I know that sounds bad. They are going to smell good. These are going to be crowd pleasers. What we are going to focus on is the science of smell, getting into the right notes, you understanding what you're wearing and how it can improve your mood. Dreams well, dream. How it can get you more focused in it at work, how whenever you go to the gym, it can help you be more committed to actually showing up and working out. I'm focused on the psychology of it and I haven't seen anyone do any of this. So we're really excited about this. If this at all interests you, down in the description of today's video, I'm putting a special link over to Mission Fragrances where you can sign up for our early bird list. Next up on this list of items I can't live without, I've got my AirPods Pro and my iPhone 12. Now for me, it's not so much the technology, it's what this allows me to do. So this is seamless. I can listen to all of my favorite audiobooks. And really, that's what I love my phone for. Yeah, I can connect, I can check things out on the web. I've got some pretty cool apps, but it's my subscription over at Audible, who's not the sponsor of today's video. I just simply have got, yeah, like 500 audiobooks. I've listened to over the last probably decade. Right now, I'm just finished up Clockwork by Mike Michalowicz. Great book for any business owner, entrepreneur. Phil Collins, I'm Not Dead Yet. Pretty good listen. 11 Rings by Phil Jackson. This one is amazing. I've read the book and it was great to just re-listen to the audio. Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Really good. The Wealthy Gardener. This is probably the fourth time this year I've listened to this audiobook. And that's what I love about this. Whenever I have downtime, I can be listening to this. Point being is, um, yeah, I love my audiobooks and uh, the technology that makes it possible. The next thing I can't live without, small, loud, little Italians that call me every single day. What do you think, Aaron? <laughs> What are you talking about? Point, point is, is having a real friend. 
someone that you, yeah, you know, you can share things with and you've got a real relationship with. We were even wearing matching shirts. So <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Except you look studly. <laughs> Next up on the list, I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking he's gonna say Thursday boots. I love Thursday boots, they're awesome, but on this list, I'm putting Brooks, and specifically, I'm going with their Adrenaline. So this pair I've had for a while, absolutely love them. In fact, going back, I've got some really early pairs of Adrenaline shoes. Brooks, for me, I've just found they really work with my feet. That being said, I've recently tried their Bedlam and absolutely love these as well. When it comes down to it, guys, find the sport that you love. For me, running since I I was a kid. It just makes me feel good. I love it. It's something I consistently do. So find what works for you and then make sure you get the right tools so that, uh, yeah, you can continue to love it. Because before this, I was buying cheaper shoes. And let's just say I was starting to have some feet issues. I bought the right shoes. I got the right liners. All of a sudden with the right, you know, support, boom, I'm feeling better. Next up on my list of things I can't live without. So it's first thing in the morning here in Wisconsin, a little bit cold outside. Wife wants me to go to the store, get some food food for the kids for breakfast, guess what? My hair all out of control right there. Boom, in one second, I go from out of control to stylish. Absolutely love my flat cap. This has become something I'm wearing pretty much every day and I love it first thing in the morning because I don't have to style my hair and in a matter of one second, I can go to looking good. Next up on this list, we've got the Rolex Explorer. If you're not familiar with the history of this watch, came out the year after Sir Edmund Hillary climbed Mount Everest. They put it out to commemorate that accomplishment. For me, I bought this because I wanted to commemorate me and my family exploring the world. I just really like the look of it as well. I have to admit, it is to me the perfect watch. It's simple, yet it's elegant. It's very easy to read. I like watches with no dates that just simply have the time. This watch right here is relatively expensive, but when it comes down to it, for me, it has just been something that has become my daily wear and I absolutely love it. Next up on the list of items I can't live without, I've got my shaving cream from Vitaman. Now, if you don't know, Vitaman is my company and down in the description, I'm gonna have a special link for you so you can get the best deal on the internet. But this shaving cream, I wanted something that was super slick. You would only need to use a small amount and it would give you an amazing shave, even if you decided to skip the shaving oil. Because I've been talking to a lot of people about the value of using a shaving oil with a shaving cream, but I'm like, you know, most guys aren't gonna heed my advice they just want a shaving cream that does it all and this is the product. Now, if you're not familiar over at Vitamin, I've also got my aftershave balm. This was the product that brought me into the company, why I became a partner in this company because I loved how this is a natural product using aloe vera and it is just nice. Let's just say that this aftershave balm is, in my opinion, the best in the world. And after that, the face moisturizer. So these is what you put on your face at the beginning of the day. It locks in the moisture right after the shower and really just makes your face look good all day, especially if you're dealing with extreme weather that's gonna cause your skin to flake. This is gonna help you look good all day. And again, gents, this is my company. I stand behind every product we sell. So if you've got an issue, just email me, we will fix it. But guys, go check us out. I'm gonna put a link down in the description of Vitamin with the best deal on the web. So use it or lose it. Next up on the list of things I can't live without my little wiener dog, Evie. Now, looking at her, you may say, oh, she's not so little. That's true. She's maybe a bit overfed. That being said, when it comes to defense against cats, when it comes to defense against vacuums, which we all know come from the devil, my wiener dog is here to lay down her life, to defend us till the end. I mean, just look at her go. Look at her bark. This dog right here is ferocious. She has my back. She's going to defend me till the end. Guys, it doesn't get much better than this. Good job. She took it out. She took out the vacuum. Next up on the list, we've got the Aura Ring. This is a smart ring that tracks your sleep, tracks your exercise, your activity throughout the day, your temperature. Is it 100% accurate? No, but it's better than a lot of the other ones I've tried. Once a week, I do need to charge it, although I charge it more than that, but it is something that I forget it's there. And then every couple days, maybe I want to, if I have, especially if I have a bad night of sleep, I want to see, okay, what happened throughout the night? Or if I had a good night's sleep, I want to see, okay, how good was it? Point being is this is a forget it. You know, I just put it on, I forget about it for a week and I'm able to track my activity. And by tracking 
leading my activity, I feel I then have the information I need to improve it. Next up on the list of items I can't live without, I've got my journal. This one here, a pocket journal by Lockbee. They were a sponsor a while back. I will link to them down in the description so you get the best deal on the web. But guys, awesome journals. And what I love about journaling is it allows me to get everything in my head on paper. Yes, I could use my phone, but there's so many, yeah, distractions, notifications, notes. This allows you just time to think. You get to look back and you get to see where you were. This right here for a lot of people, I know for me, it just calms you down. To be able to get everything out of your head onto paper to me is, uh, yeah, was something that I can't live without. In fact, if you want to know, almost 18 years ago, I was journaling. This is my old combat journal. And if you're curious what is inside that journal, check out this video right here. This video actually didn't get a whole lot of attention. I think this is one of my best videos. And I talk about things that I learned, you know, back when I was journaling, what was in that journal. A lot of things have come true. Some of them, thank goodness, they did not. I thought it was a great video, so go check it out. I will link to it down in the description.